There it is. It's an old American, mostly two-lane highway, the country's first major memorial to President Abraham Lincoln. I think the fun of driving on any historic highway, especially the Lincoln Highway, is the sense of what am I going to see this time. It goes co completely from one coast to the other. There's no end to it. I think the great thing about the Lincoln Highway, it's coast to coast, so wherever you live, you're not too far from it, even if you're far north or south, you can aim for it. Just follow your signs, and it's on there, Route 30, Lincoln Way. They've got signs in some places to draw the attention to the road, and uh, it's older than I am. <laughs> The first transcontinental highway, 1913, you know, 3,300 plus miles through 13 states through great cities, anchored by Manhattan and San Francisco. More important than any of the towns or the cities or the kitsch or the big rivers or the mountains or anything are the people. I just thought it was 30, Route 30. That is what it is, isn't it? Unless some people know it's Lincoln Highway and some people I tell them. Lincoln Highway. Now when we say a highway, we really mean a series of roads connected mostly in the minds of its uh, visionaries. Much of the highway at that time was dirt or gravel. Very little of it was paved. Right down the road here, about two or three miles is one of the Seedley Miles, um, which is one of the first paved areas that they used to do across the United States to let people know what it's what concrete was like for driving. The Lincoln Highway, there's often different generations that you can take the, the original and then maybe they rerouted it a block or two away and then a few blocks away. You know what it's like? It's so much today like it was back in 1913 and in the early 20s. It's an adventure. This weekend coming up, I'm trying to think again, how far can I go east or west on the Lincoln Highway before I have to turn around and get back home?